Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. And in today's question, we have a thin conducting disc of mass m, thickness d and radius r, where r is very much greater than small d, is released in a uniform horizontal magnetic field of induction b. Right? Uh, the magnetic induction vector is in the plane of the disc as shown in the figure. Denoting acceleration due to gravity by g, find expression for acceleration of the disc. Fine. So, when the conductor moves downwards, it cuts the magnetic field in this way. So, all the positive charges accumulates on this surface and the negative charges accumulates on this surface. I have already marked it here. Uh, if you stand here and uh, watch the conductor fall, the side view would look something like this. Okay. As you can see that on the left hand side, all the positive charges have been accumulated and the right surface, all the negative charges. Now, as the conductor moves further downwards, velocity increases, more and more charges starts to accumulate here. Now, due to that movement of charge, there will be an effective current, right? And that current will be the rate of increase of charge on this surface. And now that, as it is a current carrying conductor and in presence of a magnetic field, it will also feel a force, okay? And that force would uh, satisfy the formula I L cross B where L vector is in this direction, length of the conductor and B is here. So, the force would be in the upward direction, right? It would be current times magnetic field times the length of the conductor. So, here as the current is flowing here, so length will be D, right? So, the net forces at any instant acting on this disc would be mg downwards IBD upwards. So, net force in the downward direction is mg minus IBD equals mass times acceleration, right? Now, here we need to find out the value of I, the effective current flowing through the plates. So, we know at any instant Q is equal to C times V. What is C? C is the capacitance because this assembly acts as a capacitor of the this surface as the positive plate and this surface as the negative plate and formula for a capacitor is epsilon naught cross sectional area divided by distance between two plates that would be epsilon naught pi r square by d ok fine so this is the capacitance v is the potential difference and we know that uh, it is a motional emf according to the formula of l dot v cross b where where L is the length of this conductor and V cross B is 90 degree because V is downwards, B is in the direction coming out of the screen. The potential difference at any instant that is the motional EMF would be BVD creating a total charge of epsilon naught pi r square BV, right? Uh, rate of increase of charge on the left plate or left surface would give you epsilon naught pi r square B dv dt is nothing but acceleration right so just put this value here okay and just uh, find out the value of a you will get the net acceleration with which the disk is falling downwards okay so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and if you like the video give a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one peace